friends in today's video we are going to discuss control valve and its parts these parts play an important role in operating the control valve there are mainly two parts of the control valve the first is actuator and the second is body actuator means which makes the control valves operate and body means the part which operates by actuator if we see the control valves this part is actuator and this part is body because globe type control valve is mostly used that's why today we will discuss about this control valve what are its parts and what is their use video is going to be very helpful for you do not skip it at all and haven't subscribed to the channel yet then subscribe to the channel as well first understand the parts of the actuator the first part in the actuator is the diaphragm diaphragm is the most important part of the control valve actuator air first comes on the diaphragm only that's why the diaphragm plays an important role in operating the control valves in case of diaphragm leakage there will be air leakage from here the next part of the actuator is spring spring stays on the diaphragm we just discussed that air first comes on the diaphragm then the spring compresses spring provides movement to the control valve the control valve operates when the spring is compressed sometimes it happens that the control valve is not fully closed even after zero calibration then by increasing the compression of the spring it may be fully closed let's move on to the next part and that is o-ring o-ring is used to prevent air leakage if there is o-ring leakage there will be air leakage from here moving on to the next part and that's hand wheel this wheel has a very large role by this the control valve operation is selected as manual or auto in case of control valve air supply failure the control valve can also be operated manually by using this wheel now moving towards the body parts of the control valve the first part is plug it is also called valve plug plug is an important part of the valve body and it remains attached to the plug stem plug stem is connected to the actuator by means of a coupling coupling connects the actuator and the body along with plug plug cage is also used plug cage adjusts the flow coefficient of the valve which improves the control capability of the valve friends now let's understand the control valve seat the smooth part below the plug is called the seat seat function is to prevent leakage of control valve when the control valve is fully closed then seat prevents the leakage if the control valve is passing the flow even when it is fully closed then there is a possibility that the leakage will be from the seat of the control valve next part is balancing ring balancing ring is also used to prevent leakage in control valves this balancing ring is made of graphite or teflon if the control valve is used on the water line or where the temperature is low then teflon's balancing ring is used and if the control valve is used on the steam line or in a place where the temperature is high their graphite's balancing ring is used due to balancing ring damage the valve passes the flow at 0% so if control valve is passing the flow on 0% then balancing ring or seat may damage after this we understand 
gland packing. These prevent leakage from the control valve's body. If there is gland packing leakage, then, there will be leakage from the body of the control valve. Gland packing is also made from Teflon, or graphite. At low temperatures, Teflon gland packing is used. And, at high temperatures, graphite gland packing is used. The next part is control valve chuck nut. This is a type of nut. It is used to set, and, tighten the body of control valves. Moving on to the next part. Valve position indicator. It shows the opening percentage of the control valve in the field. By which, you get to know, how much percentage the valve is open. Apart from this there are some parts like, valve bonnet. Valve bonnet covers the valve body, so, the bonnet is kept of such material, so that, it can handle the operating pressure. One part of control valve is, yoke. Yoke is a type of mounting bracket. It holds the actuator, and valve together. So, these were some important parts of the control valve. If, some parts are left, then you people tell. So, that was our video, thanks for watching. If you like the video, do like, and, share with your friends. Also, press the bell icon for more updates and further uploads. Thanks for watching.